What's going on? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do smooth page transitions using Framer Motion and React Router. So I got this little dummy project all set up. Basically, I got some routes and I got two pages nested inside of a section route. It just has these buttons, uh, this page thing, and it renders an outlet where our children um, are rendered. And you click these buttons and it takes you to these pages. But we want this to be like smoothly animated, so let's just get started. So first of all, let's create a component called animated page. And with this component, we're gonna wrap our um, we're gonna wrap our pages in this component. So luckily, Framer Motion comes in clutch and gives us some really useful components to use. And so basically to start using it, you just do motion dot and then whatever the element you want it, you want that element to be. So in this case, we're just using a div. And this motion dot div takes in some props that dictates how this component is going to be animated. So we're going to be taking in children. And let's just render them here. And to create our animations, let's store the animation data in an object called animations. So basically we're gonna need three objects. We're gonna need an initial object, which says whenever this component mounts, um, that animation that it first mounts with, it's gonna start in this state. And then the animate object is, is basically saying like, it goes from initial to animate and it animates that transition. When, it, when this component mounts. And then we pass it in an exit object and whenever this component unmounts, it's gonna transition to whatever state is inside of this exit object. So we wanna initial, um, initialize the animation with an opacity of zero and an X of 100. And we want it to fade into an opacity of one and move into the center of the screen, so X zero. And when the component unmounts, we want it to fade out and move over to the left side of the screen. So now we gotta go into this div, pass in the variance prop, and declare the animations we're gonna use. And then pass in the initial animate and exit props and pass in the string of the name of the object. So initial and animate and exit so now we can wrap our pages in that animated component just like that and we can do the same thing over here just like that so now if you notice um, the animation is working and we can adjust how fast it goes by passing in a transition prop to the div, the motion div. And it's a, it takes in an object and we can specify a duration of one second. So that's um, kind of what we're going for, but we want it to do the fade out animation that we specified but it's not doing so because React is unmounting our component when we go to our new route. So it's not being able to do that animation because it's uh, it's unmounting before it can do so. But it's not really a big deal because Framer Motion comes in clutch with a component called Animate Presence. So basically what it does is that it detects if the key of its child has changes has changed and if it has changed it waits until the exit animation of all his children are finished before unmounting those components and then after the animations of those children are done it mounts the new components into the screen so in order to um, do that we're gonna need to give the routes child a unique key because if we don't give it a unique key it's always gonna be the same component and it's never gonna uh, animate presence is never gonna know when to do that uh, exit animations. So let's go over here and call the use location hook because every time our path change, our path changes, we want to animate the exit animations on the children. So on the routes, we give a key of 
location.pathName and set the location to the location object. And in the animate presence component, declare that exit before enter is true. So basically, um, every time we switch the page, our routes component becomes a new component because in React, every time a component has a different key, React considers that component to be a completely different one from the previous one. So it remounts it. And in that process, animate presence um, detects that and um, waits to unmount it until all the animations are done. So as you can see here, it works perfectly. And yeah, I think you got the gist of it. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.